Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing a application of a Chase Sapphire card, specifically the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. The reason why I am doing this application is because there is a limited time offer of a $300 Chase Travel credit through the Chase Travel Portal as well as a 60,000 bonus point offer while the Sapphire Reserve only has the standard 60,000 bonus point offer, I am going to take advantage of this $300 travel credit for an upcoming trip. So I am going to apply for this one today, which you need to spend at least $4,000 in the first three months of account opening in order to get this travel bonus. All right, let's get going along with this application. So just these are some of my data points for my application of this credit card. Just for your knowledge, this is how many accounts I've had and the age of credit. I also have around a 760 credit score. Um, so just for knowledge, before applying for this card, you could be uh, approved or denied based on your credit number as well. So we are going to fill out some personal information um, and then kind of go into your address, authorization to charge your social security number or like to make a claim with your credit report, um, talks about your income, your paperless, and then the terms and conditions of the credit card do encourage you to read through all of the terms and conditions just making sure it is worth it for you and this does have a $95 annual fee talk about the penalties and then once you have read through all of the terms and conditions you will check that you have agreed to and submit your application know that you cannot get another sapphire bonus within the last or the next 48 months which is okay for me um but i also am thinking about at the end of the first year upgrading it to the chase sapphire reserve card um with them building a sapphire lounge close to where i live so let's see if i get approved for this application and i'll see you in just a little bit so not exactly what I was wanting to deal with, but I had forgotten to unfreeze my credit score. In this specific case, they are wanting to look at the Experian. So just making sure before you do your application, please look to make sure that your credit score is unthawed or is thawed. And um, unfortunately, because I had applied during the weekend, I had to wait until Monday to be able to call the, this number and be able to get my credit uh, application reprocessed. So we will see what happens when I call this line and I will report back. So I called the reconsideration line and in when I was explaining to them what happened over the weekend, they did see that the application was still in process. She just put me on hold, the representative put me on hold, and then came back. My application was approved. Um, they did approve me for a credit limit um, of about $7,000. So for this card, I am also going to be able to hopefully in a year upgrade to the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Now I will need to have a credit limit of $10,000 in order to upgrade. So I will have to move some of my credit limits around to this card and uh, have the $10,000 limit for the card. But again, was approved, um, was reported to my credit report and I did see a drop of about eight points for this application. So we'll see how long that takes for my credit score to jump back up. But again, happy that I had a credit card approval and not a credit card denial for the Chase Sapphire Preferred. I do appreciate you staying to the end of the video and hope to see you in my next application video. Thank you so much.